Escape Plan 3, The Extractors, we yet have another Escape Plan movie. The first Escape Plan was a great 80s action throwback movie with a great collab between Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger, and for that I enjoyed it. And then we got a sequel, Escape Plan 2, Hades, which I didn't bother watching because I thought that original Escape, Escape Plan was great just the way it was, and I didn't think a sequel was necessary, so I didn't bother watching it. And now we have a third movie, and congrats Escape Plan, you are now a trilogy. So Escape Plan 3, The Extractors, once again stars Celeste Stallone and Dave Bautista, and V Cent also has a small role in this movie as well. I'll start by saying this movie is not good. Did anyone know that they were making a third Escape Plan? Like, I did not know until today that they were making another Escape Plan movie. I did not see any of the trailers. I didn't even know that they were marketing this. I didn't even know they were making a third Escape Plan. So that's how under the rug this third movie is. And it definitely proves that this movie is not good. It definitely deserves to be a straight to VOD movie. So I first want to talk about the performances. So how is Celeste Stallone in this movie? His performance in this movie is very wooden, is very dull. He's giving zero effort, zero energy to this role. Like there is a scene in this movie that has to feel emotion for Celeste Stallone's character because he just lost someone, but he, he gives zero emotion to that scene. And that just proves how dull and wooden his performance is in this movie. And he just looks like he does not want to be there. And and I know Celeste Stallone is a very talented actor. Actor. Like he's he's great in Rambo, he's great in the Expendables, but he just is not. His performance is very bad in this movie. Now, Dave Bautista, on the other hand, his performance is okay. His performance is fine in this movie. Like it's nothing great, it's nothing amazing. His performance is really just average. It's it's fine. It's okay in this. Um, and now, as for the action in this movie, the action was also very okay in this movie as well. And that's how I'll describe a lot of things in this movie. It's just okay. Like the action, it didn't like mind, it wasn't anything mind blowing. It wasn't anything really amazing I haven't seen before. So, and the action really wasn't even all that fun to me. I just found myself bored for most of that. Um, and some of these special effects did not look as good in this movie. And now I want to talk about the prison in this movie. It, this is like a very old Alcatraz type looking prison here. And it's nothing compared to what it was in the first movie. In the first movie, it, it really looked like this high technology prison. Now prison in this movie, it, it looks like a prison you can easily escape. It looks like a prison you can easily run out at any time. But in that first movie, it really looked like there was like security cameras in every corner. The prison had for some of the best scenes in the movie and there were also some pretty brutal kills in this movie. I was actually surprised with the amount of gore that was in this movie. The direction was okay in this. There were some pretty good directed scenes. I would probably recommend for you not to check this out because this really just felt like an hour and a half wasted of my life. This really did not feel like anything amazing. And I know Celeste Stallone is is a better actor than what you see of him in this movie. Your escape plan for the extractors was a complete waste of my time. Celeste Stallone just looks like he's there for the paycheck. If you want to watch one of the escape plan movies, I'd recommend you watch that original because that is worth your time. But Escape Plan 3, The Extractors, is not worth your time. If you have seen Escape Plan 3, The Extractors, let me know down in the comments what did you all think of it and which one, and which of the Escape Plan movies is your favourite. Let me know all your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. So anyways guys, I hope you have a good rest of your night and I'll see you in the next video.